Hey, what's up guys, it's Samer. How are you guys doing? You're having a fantastic day today. We're we'll predicting the World Series, the 2019 season with MLB The Show 19. I got 19 a few weeks ago. I haven't made any videos about it yet. I'm gonna do like a road to the show on this channel. I don't know. Fucking I wanna do a demo. And now I gotta wait for them to go to the demo so I can exit the demo. But yeah, we're gonna do a franchise and then we're gonna just simulate the entire season and then we're gonna see what happens. Music on here is catchy. It's not really good, it's just catch. Alright, so we're gonna do the Red Sox. We're gonna just turn everything off so we don't get like all these fucking notifications. Auto manage, auto manage, and auto manage. Alright, so we start off in Seattle. We're doing the Red Sox, but we'll pretty much just see what happens. Standings right now, that's that. And then we'll simulate till the end of May. Turn off critical situations, yeah. So we're, the Red Sox are not doing good to start off the season, kind of like how actual right now. All right, so right now they're 21 and 23. All right, so now we're at June 1st. Oh, they're going to do the Justin Legger. All right, so right now the Yankees are leading the AL East. The Red Sox are 6.5 games back. The Cleveland Indians are leading the AL Central. The Detroit Tigers are 8 games back. The Oakland Athletics are leading the AL West. The Houston Astros are 4.5 games back. The Phillies are leading the NL East. The Cincinnati Reds are leading the NL Central, which is shocking. NL West is being led by the San Diego Padres, which is realistic for right now. I mean, that is actually happening right now, which is shocking. We're going to go up to the London series on July 1st. See how things are looking after the month of July. I don't care about the draft. All right, so right now they're simulating, and the London series just ended. The Red Sox 1-1, the Yankees 1-1. The Red Sox are 9.5 games back from the Yankees. The Cleveland Indians are still leading the AL Central. The Oakland Athletics are still leading the AL West. The Phillies are leading the NL East. The Cubs have taken the lead in the NL Central. The Cincinnati Reds are seven games back. They must have choked in that month. The Padres are still leading the NL West. Uh, let's look at the wild card. So right now the Red Sox are leading the wild card. Uh, the Astros are also in there. So we're going to go up to the, uh, to the, let's go to the end of August. So we got a good week right there. I don't want to do the All-Star game. I don't want to do the Home Run Derby. I don't want to do the All-Star game. Okay. I don't care about the AAA. I don't care about the fucking AA. Uh, so we're having a good little streak right here. Some wins, a few losses, but a good July for, for the Red Sox. This is looking like right now. Today's a trade deadline. I would not like to stop simulating. Nope. All right, so we're winning some games, winning a lot of games right now. We've lost only like three games this month in the month of August. Oh uh, wow, that's we're actually 76 and 52 right now. And at the very end of August, September 1st, the Red Sox are still 10.5 games back from the Yankees. The Cleveland Indians are still leading the AL Central, and the Oakland Athletics are still leading the AL West. Phillies are still leading the NL East. The Cubs are still leading the NL Central, but the Cincinnati Reds have gained on them a little bit. They're now a game and a half back. Colorado Rockies are leading NL West now, so they took a big lead over the San Diego Padres. I mean, the San Diego Padres must have choked, but September 1st, we'll probably go up to September 22nd, so there's like a week left in the season just to see how, uh, I don't care about AAA, just to see how everything's looking. Um, so simulate some games. I mean, if the Red Sox, I mean, from the look of this, oh, that's cool. From the look of this, the Red Sox are having a phenomenal season. It's just not good enough for how the Yankees have been doing. The Red Sox are seven games back. Let's actually check, like, actual standings. The Yankees have clinched the AL East. The Red Sox have clinched a postseason appearance from the wild card. I don't know how the Z, what the difference is between the Y and the Z. The, clinch the wild card and clinch the postseason appearance. I don't know what the difference is between that, but the Red Sox have made it to the postseason. The Indians have made it to the postseason. They've locked it up. They locked it up a while ago. You have 94 wins. The Tigers are 23 games back. And the AL West has been clinched by the Athletics. 12 games. In the wild card, the Astros are still there. They are leading that by four games, so it's pretty much decided. But if the Astros choke within the next week, then they're fucked. But yeah, the Angels are four games back from the wild card. The NL East, the Phillies, and the Nationals have clinched a postseason appearance, so they're probably just a wild guard teams the reds have clinched the postseason appearance i don't know how i i don't i don't know how probably back game 163 i don't know i don't know how that worked the padres have not yet clinched they're tied with the rockies right now and that's actually a pretty close division i mean the diamondbacks are i think the diamondbacks and the giants are actually out of it but the it's a three-team battle right there and the nl wild card the nationals and the cubs are there right now yeah let's go back to the calendar we'll just we'll just keep looking at it like every other day or so so the phillies are now one game back from the nationals 
And the Padres are now one game back from the Colorado Rockies. Uh, yeah, that's a close... The National League has a close battles right now for all three of the uh, divisions. I mean, it's no, it's anybody's race right now in the NL West with the top three. So now the Phillies... The Phillies have locked it up. The Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds are tied right now. And the Rockies have locked it up. So, so now we have to play the wild card. Uh, let's actually look at the standings to see how it all worked out. The standings. I just want to look at the National League. So the uh, Phillies made it. Uh, the Nationals also made it. Cubs and the Reds made it. But the, the Cubs are the wild card team for the National League. The Rockies also made it. Padres. The Padres are having a good season, but then they choked at a certain point. So apparently the Rockies are going to win the... NL West this year. The Nationals and the Reds win the wild card. P Pennants. This advance of oh, Simta offseason, yes. Oh, the Red Sox have been eliminated from the playoffs. Nope, stop. All right. So the Cincinnati Reds and the Washington Nationals. The Cincinnati Reds won the NL wild card. And the Phillies have won the NLDS. The Rockies and the Cubs are tied at two games for the NLDS. The Oakland Athletics won the NLDS, or the ALDS. The Houston Astros... And the Yankees are in the ALDS right now. The Houston Astros are leading by two games. And the Red Sox are, were eliminated by the Astros. So that sucks. So the next calendar day, the Phillies, yep, so nothing's changed. Colorado Rockies win the NLDS. So now it's 2-2 two and two right now for the Houston Astros and the Yankees. Advance a day. The Houston Astros make it to the ALCS. So they, they will be playing Oakland, and the Rockies and the Phillies will be playing in the NLCS. Vance, the Rockies take game one. The Oakland Athletics take game one, and the Phillies take game two. The Houston Astros take game two of the ALCS. Colorado Rockies take game three of the NLCS. The Oakland Athletics will take game three of the ALCS. And the Phillies will take game four of the NLCS. The Houston Astros will take game four of the ALCS, and the Phillies will take game five of the NLCS and the Astros will take game five of the ALCS. Now they're all tied up in the NLCS at three apiece, so they will have a game seven. The winner of that game will move on to the World Series. So the Phillies and the Astros move on to the World Series. The Phillies and the Astros will be playing in the World Series in 2019, guys. Are you ready? Advance a day, advance a day. Oh, they make us like move many days. So the Phillies take game one, the Astros take game two of the World Series, the Phillies take game three of the World Series, the Phillies take game four of the World Series, so they need one more win and then they win the World Series. So the Astros take game two of the World Series, or the game five of the World Series. They got their second win though. So the Phillies can still win it. If they win the next game, the Phillies win the World Series. So they are tied at three games apiece. The Phillies and the Houston Astros will be in the World Series. They're tied. There will be a Game 7 this year. Let's see. Who will win it? The Houston Astros or the Philadelphia Phillies? Advanced day. Here we go. Moment of truth, boys and girls. The Houston Astros will win the 2019 World Series. How does that sound? How does that sound? That sounds pretty cool. All right, so now I can just delete this save now. I don't even care. I don't even fucking care. But yeah, that's going to be how the World Series works this year. The How the season works. Yeah, let's, that, that sounds cool. If you guys like this video, leave a like on it. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike and a hate comment. Telling me exactly what I did wrong. Be sure to subscribe to notification. And as always, goodbye, kitty cat. Hold up, let me get it, get it now. Bitch, I'm here to bring it now. OG, I see I'm finna play, I'm finna bring it now. And you know the words to this rap, I'm gonna sing it now. Never thought I'd have to, but I got to.